Is automation worth it for Canada's mushroom farms? Finding reliable mushroom pickers is getting harder every year. That's why many farms in Europe and North America are turning to automated harvesting systems. But the big question is, is automation worth it for Canada's mushroom farms? In this video we'll break it down in a simple way. We'll look at installation and operation, cleaning and hygiene, maintenance and downtime, limitations, and performance and ROI, real cash flow, and finally the key points you should check before making the switch. Let's get started. First, installation and operation. The Human Plus Picking Lorry System is the simplest. A worker picks, trims, sorts, and places mushrooms directly in tills or bulk boxes while moving on a lorry. But it's a two-touch operation, meaning mushrooms are handled twice before packaging. The end performance, per hour and per person, is 26 kilograms. It works with both wooden and steel racks. The tilt bed with belt conveyor system has a picker drop mushrooms onto a moving belt. The belt carries them to another worker for unloading and placing them in tills or trays. Both hands are available, leading to the test picking speed rise by 2.5 times. This is another two-touch system. The end performance, per hour and per person, is 32 kilograms. It must also be built into the facility and cannot be removed later. The chain conveyor MPU is semi-automatic. Pickers pick and place mushrooms onto conveyor fingers. And a chain conveyor carries mushrooms to a processing unit that trims, sorts, weighs and places them in tills or bulk boxes. Both hands are free so the test picking speed rises by 3.7 times with tills compared to the Human Plus Picking Lorry system. It's a one-touch system, so mushrooms are handled less, which reduces mushroom damage. The end performance is 41 kilograms per hour and per person. But here is the kicker, the chain conveyor equipped with a bulk box MPU can have an end performance of 100 to 120 kilograms per hour and per person during the peak of first and second flush, if you use only bulk boxes, not tills. The mobile MPU is a standalone unit and semi-automatic. One picker picks and places mushrooms onto round rope conveyor while it trims, sorts, weighs and places them in tills. Both hands are available, so the test picking speed rises by 2 to 2.5 times. Because it is an independent standalone system, it has no chain reaction risks. The end performance is 51 kilograms. It works with both wooden and steel racks if space allows. It's also a one-touch system, very flexible, and it can do both machine and human harvest at the same time. The robotic harvest system uses a robot arm to pick, trim, and place mushrooms in bulk boxes. It sounds futuristic, but right now the return on investment just isn't competitive. The end performance is 21 kilograms per hour and per robot. And like the conveyor MPU, it must be built into the facility design from the beginning. Now let's talk about cleaning and hygiene. With the Human Plus lorry system, it's simple. Tools and lorries just need to be sanitized or washed, usually by one cleaner. But the tilt bed with belt conveyor is the most demanding. The entire belt must be replaced with a clean one every night. This requires two skilled maintenance people plus one cleaner, and the costs rise significantly under Canadian strict hygiene regulations. The cleaning and hygiene ratio is 5, meaning the cleaning and hygiene cost is 5 times that of the Human Plus lorry system. The chain conveyor MPU system has two major parts to clean, MPU and chain conveyor fingers. The fingers are automatically cleaned and rinsed by a niche mobile washing machine. The cleaning and hygiene ratio is 1.5. The mobile MPU is very easy. Just brush the table and wipe it as needed. The cleaning and hygiene ratio is 0.3, meaning the cleaning and hygiene cost is one-third of the Human Plus lorry system. The robotic system is also simple. Just brush, air gun and sanitize the robot surfaces. The cleaning and hygiene ratio is 0.3 also. 
Next, maintenance. The Human Plus lorry system is low maintenance. Charge the batteries and it's good to go. The tilt bed with belt conveyor requires a medium level of maintenance. Motors, hydraulic lifts, and sensors need attention, and usually one skilled person must be on site during operation for troubleshooting. The maintenance ratio is 9, meaning its maintenance cost is 9 times that of the human plus lorry system. The chain conveyor MPU requires a dedicated team of maintenance personnel, electric lifts, sensors, safety devices, and tilt jamming issues. Usually, a pair of two skilled staff is on standby during operation for troubleshooting. The key to benefit from this system is to have a dedicated maintenance people during operation. The maintenance ratio is 20. The mobile MPU is very low maintenance. Just recharge the batteries daily. Its maintenance ratio is 1, meaning its maintenance cost is the same as that of the Human Plus lorry system. The robotic system is complex. Mechanical joints, batteries, and software updates all need regular checks. Its maintenance ratio is 2. Next, limitations to each system. The Human Plus lorry system has no limitations in mushroom sizes and shapes, but slow. It can harvest any size, ultra button, button, small, medium, large, and super large. This system requires a lot of mushroom harvesters which cause HR issues to the company. The tilt bed belt conveyor has limitations in carrying ultra button mushrooms, and those are hand carried by pickers and farms. This system cannot make its belt conveyor speed faster due to its structural issue, such as fluctuation of conveyor belt. The chain conveyor MPU has limitations in carrying ultra button mushrooms, button head is less than 22 millimeters, it can carry them but loss rate hikes. Those are hand carried by pickers. This system feeds empty plastic tills automatically to its processing unit, but they often cause till jamming. The mobile MPU can carry ultra button mushrooms. It has no limitations in mushroom sizes because it can adopt both automatic machine and manual harvest at the same time. This machine still has a great potential to evolve into a better version, for example, smaller and lighter. The mushroom robot is still under development and verification stage. There are two types of robot arms, arm with a sucking cup and arm with a gripping finger. Among the issues are mushroom head decapitation, practical integration with other processes, cost down, overall integrity of the robot system. Next, work processes from mushroom picking until wrapping or packing mushrooms before final shipping. Human plus picking lorry involves three humans and one wrapping or packing machine. Tilt bed with belt conveyor needs four humans and two machines. Chain conveyor MPU involves three humans and two machines. Mobile MPU needs two humans and one wrapping or packing machine. Robot harvest involves one robot, one human, and one wrapping or packing machine. Now let's look at end performance and ROI. When it comes to return on investment, two things matter most, end performance and upfront cost. The end performance is a real kg per hour and per person. The mobile MPU has the best end performance with 51 kilograms. The chain conveyor MPU ranks second best with 41 kilograms. The tilt bed belt conveyor comes at third with 32 kilograms. And the human plus lorry is fourth with 26 kilograms. The mobile MPU strikes the best balance. It shows the best ROI at around five to six years. The tilt bed conveyor and the chain conveyor MPU follow at eight to 10 years. The Human Plus lorry system can take 11 to 12 years to pay back. Let's talk about the cash flow. So what key questions should you ask before investing? Do you know your farm's real cash flow? It is paramount for an investor to base his investment decision on a real entire cash flow. We must map out all processes and procedures in terms of material, labor, and cost to create it. 
It is the convergence of each system and all activities before shipping, for example, raw material procurement system, compost making, growing, harvesting, packaging, compost dumping, box making, shipping, etc. Once you have it, you can control, improve, and even make a breakthrough in your performance. This method is universal across the industry. And finally, the conclusion. So, is automation worth it for Canada's mushroom farms? The answer is yes, especially with the mobile MPU. It combines flexibility, standalone, no chain reaction delay, low maintenance, and the best ROI. Thank you for watching this video.